The woman you see next to me is the biggest car lover in the world. Hey, what's up guys? It's Supercar Blondie and I love cars. She drove He's more than 500 supercars from red to green to crazy. And she has over 60 million followers and three supercars that she owns. Oh! <laughs> it was so freaking amazing. For the first time ever, I want to tell you the hidden backstory of Supercar Blondie. All right. Are you ready for this? Her life may look easy and it may look fun, but Supercar Blondie had a very difficult start. She was born and raised in Australia in a small town. She got married and moved to Dubai. But for three years, she struggled to get a job. She applied to job after job after job. And at some point, she found herself doing exactly what she did not want to do. At some point, I'd gone through several different jobs and then I landed myself a job as a receptionist in a bank just because I needed to pay the bills. And it's just not what I loved. What she loved was cars, but it was very difficult for a woman like her to do anything with cars. For one, I'm not a car expert. And for two, I'm not a man. The car industry is a man's world where the women like her did not belong. But she didn't let that stop her. One weekend, she rented a supercar from Bentley and made a video about it. Then she put that video review on the internet. All of a sudden, people liked that video. They liked her. They liked her style. Supercar Blondie, why do you think people like this style? The style, style of video. video. Look, I'm just pointing at things that everyone would want to see in a car. Even if you don't know anything about cars, this is impressive, right? Who doesn't like something like this? 99% of the population are not car experts. I don't use car lingo. I'm not a car expert. I'm a car lover. So people could relate to that and go, ah, oh, I finally understand what this person is talking about. And that was promising. So she continued to review cars on the weekend, every weekend for a year, until she had the courage to quit her job at a radio station and become Supercar Blondie full time. I made the decision to just give it a go. I had to do something that I loved. This is called a bone switch and you turn this on and look at this. How cool is that? And that's where real problems started. The more followers she got, the more difficult it got. Car experts thought she was a joke. Car companies didn't see the value in her, and even her friends would make fun of her. The people who hate you speak loudest. And that's all you end up seeing is comment after comment after comment of people saying, you don't belong here. Who do you think you are? Get back in the kitchen. Oh, you must use your body to get to where you are because why else would you be successful as a woman in this field? I uh, needed to go through therapy at one point because I was so down about everything. But that's why we're making a video about her. Despite being a woman in a man's world, she continued. Car after car after car, review after review after review. She slowly went up the ranks and became the biggest car influencer in the world. With over 60 million followers and hundreds of offers, four years later, the doors didn't open for her. She smashed them open. The car companies in the beginning didn't approve of me at all. And now what is amazing for me is that the likes of Bugatti and other car manufacturers, some of the biggest manufacturers in the world, want to have their brands associated with me. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like that is massive for me. So this is the Bugatti you need in your life if you want to drift it. This video is about women in cars, but it's really not. This video is about women in physics, in mathematics, in leadership positions. It's about anyone who stands in the face of a world 
where they are not accepted. Just surround yourself with people who love you and support you. That is the most important thing because it doesn't matter what everyone else says, they don't know you. You come back to the people who know you and who love you and that is everything. Supercar Blondie is an example that if you try hard enough, you can smash open any door in any industry. You can do what you love, make money from it, and be the best in the world at it. How freaking cool is that?